hello 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 we are live again um excuse this ugly looking um chair i have a curtain over it just because um my cat this is oh hold on, hold on. Can't, oh okay i thought i was unlisted hi okay yeah i have this because my cats scratch everything, but I will uncover it so that it doesn't look so bad for here. Hi, Zappy. Okay. <clears throat> so that you guys can see, I actually have kind of cute furniture. It was really cheap, but, oh, the cats are on that one. I can't bother them. Okay, we're doing an unboxing. Let me bring the box. <clears throat> it's heavy. Um, if you can, give this video a thumbs up because it tells the YouTube robots that this is it. Connor, hi! We've been wondering where you were. Um, yeah, if you can, please give this a thumbs up because it tells the YouTube robots like, oh, this video is getting engagement, interaction. Oh, this channel needs to be rewarded. So it really helps. Thank you. We just doubled them. Muchas gracias, Mari. Okay. This is an unboxing from Ohana. Okay, here we go. Let me show you how big this is. What? Can you hear me, by the way, or should I wear headphones? Because I could put on the headphones so you can hear me better. Also, I figured out that if I wear something lighter, my face will look more balanced. So when I go live on YouTube, if I forget, Please remind me, wear something light. Okay, you can hear me? Okay, 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 sweet. Because usually I'll put um, headphones on because the mic will be better. All right, let's dig into this. So we have an Ohana ukulele already on our channel and it's the little tiny bitty one. Oh, thank you, Connor. What did Connor say? I remember when you were hitting 15,000 subscribers and now you're almost a at a hundred thousand that's insane you know what though this is still the same small family like yeah we might have a hundred K and we might have more views and stuff but like I still want you to feel like I know who you are this is your classroom and um, we're all friends here I'm sorry I'm giving you anxiety with a knife I could not find my scissors wait I found some child scissors hold on back from when I was a classroom teacher. I'll try the um, classroom scissors. Ohana means family. Yeah, and I think like the, of course the name is representative of us, but also the mo like the way that they kind of carry their, their, their business, you know, it's also very, I don't know, inviting. I, I love that all these lives are still fun get together. Honestly, yeah, and you don't only have to chat with me, by the way. You can chat with the people in the live chat. So some of you watching, scroll down either to the bottom or maybe to the side. You might see people are actually um, typing because some people didn't know that there was a live chat going on. Um, yeah, I'm in Maryland. I see somebody else here. Maria! Maria's in the house, you guys. Maria is the student that I was watching closely during the 30 day youth challenge because I wanted to see if the videos were working and I knew that she was going to be posting a video of herself the entire time. She's the one that's here as the SPA and so I would go and watch her videos and if something didn't make sense, I would change how I was teaching. So like she's a huge part of how the 30 day youth challenge went. And I'm going <laughs> holding this knife like this. I'm going to make the 30 day youth challenge again. Um, Cause I'm, now that I, I've improved the quality of my camera and like the way that I'm, I've learned to make videos, I wanna make it again and make it better. The principle is okay. I think I can do a better principle too. So I'm excited. I think it's one of those challenges that I'll remake every year and try to make it better. I really like your glasses. Thank you guys. I feel like they're a little truck driver-ish, but I, I like 
a big brain. I don't know. I'm so excited to be live that like I can't even cut this. <laughs> I'm like, ah, I want to talk to you. Okay. Here we go. And this just got here like right before I went live. So yeah. So when I met with the Ohana people, I was talking about you. And correct me if I'm wrong, but they asked what kind of ukuleles you would be interested in. And I said, my community is mostly beginners, but now we're getting to the point where we're intermediate players. So I said, I would love a great beginner ukulele for the people that are just beginners. And I would love a great step up ukulele for the people that are kind of over the beginner phase. They got the first ukulele they could get their hands on. Sometimes it's a cheap ukulele and now they want something a little nicer. So I said, I would like a beginner ukulele. I would like a step up ukulele. And then, oh, I said some of the people here, hi Humvee, are collectors. Like they're building a ukulele collection. So they'll want something unique. And then I can't remember what else I said. So I want unique, beginner, step up. So let me know um, what, what uh, your ideas are. What kind of ukulele do you want to see? Um, I haven't had a lot of Ohana ukuleles before, but um, Cynthia Lynn has used Ohana a lot. <gasps> oh, you guys! Oh, you guys! Ah! I have not been this excited in a long time. Ah! Yeah! Okay, so the thing about when I um, do unboxings when I'm recording with my camera is that sometimes I don't like my first reactions. So then I'll be like, oh, I'll show the ones I've calmed down. But you guys are gonna see the actual reaction. This is so cool! Look at this! How beautiful is that? Oh my God! By the way, I asked them, what would you like me to do with the ukes? And they said they want to organize giveaways. So, some of this stuff is just going to be given away. But of course, I'm going to give it airtime so people can see it. How pretty! Oh my god, I have Ohana over here on the side. That is gorgeous. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Um, okay. Ooh, even this black one is unique. You guys! Get out. I think I know another you that's in here. Okay, I'm scatterbrained. Sorry, sorry. Okay, let me finish this one, and then I'll show you the next one. Ah! I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have this black egg bag. And even this one's got a little detailing. Are those cocktails? <laughs> They're probably like, Bernadette looks like she knows how to have fun during happy hour. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That's cute though. Why haven't other brands thought of that? Like to make at least the pocket unique, right? Because you can, like why not? This is so smart. I had never thought about that. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, let me take this out and... Ah, okay. You guys! I think I know what's in here. Ah, I'm so excited. I don't think I need to tell you, but... Uh, what's in the box by the front door? That, my friend, is for another video. Shakers, you heard shakers, right? <laughs> You could have imagined what I was like Christmas morning when I was a kid, right? This would be so cool if brands put designs on the front pocket. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, why haven't other brands done it? And why haven't I done it? Like, I could just get fabric and like sew it onto my gig bag. Okay. Come on. Let's go, little darling. Okay, I'm ripping stuff. What is this and 
why. They have a backpack? Ohana has a backpack? You guys. I love backpacks with a passion. Like, backpacks are a big thing. They're a big part of my life, you guys. I love them. Oh, and this one's great. Oh, dude, stop. It's like Ohana knows me because this was not even dude you open the front bag and it's like hey we still here <laughs> what's up <laughs> that's so funny okay you guys can you tell i have no friends you can tell i have no friends right okay all right bernie chill chill okay <laughs> little bit because it's been in a box hold on let me curve it you know what oh you are my friend thank you um my favorite color is navy blue Ugh, these people did they like cyber stalk me or they just guessed it all okay we have an ohana tuner with the battery so i will test it for the video of course and i will give this away for sure, because I'm sure they're not going to mind if I give it away. A capo, and it's nice and heavy. Yeah, I like um, things that have a little weight to them. I don't know why, but my brain thinks, ooh, quality, when I have a little bit of weight to something. A Metro tuner, oh, you know what? I just wanted to make a video about how to use a metronome to practice, like how to practice with a metronome and why it's important and why it can help you get better in a day. Like you can see difference in a day. So maybe this is the uh, metronome I'll use for that lesson. I was just gonna like make my own beats on the computer, but that's better. We have a cleaning cloth. So I'll throw this in a giveaway as well. And we have an Ohana journal, which I'm a sucker for journals. Like my bookshelf over there is 50% journals. What is this? It's one of their little tags. Okay. Okay. Oh, we have the little rhythm shakers that you put on your finger when you're strumming. How cute. Okay. So once I give all this stuff airtime, I'll also throw some of these things on the giveaway. I'll just check with them what they want to see more times than not. Guys, what is this? What is this? Is this an apron? This is an apron! Oh my god! How cute. You know what? When I was a music teacher, I asked my mom to make me an apron. And so I would put my markers and my tuners and my phone and all the essentials on the teacher apron. Okay. Not sure what this is, but this is a baggie. And we got bandages first aid kit man oh honey you thought of everything this is like good for travel okay so and a hang tag if you have want to put this on your uke with your info that's important for travel okay sweet okay the thing that i like almost jumped out for was this what do you think it's in here. Ah, I think I know what's in here. <laughs> Let me know what you think is in there. Yeah, I think that's what's in there. Ooh, what is this sexy thing? You know, um, you know the Mini Coopers, the little cars. There's like a a yellow and black one, and that's like my dream car to have a Mini Cooper. Like yellow and, and black. Okay, let's see. And this feels light, so I think it's just the the gig bag. But this looks like a high quality, heavy duty, like you can punch this gig bag. So it's not like your standard one. This is something that you would order. <clears throat> oh my god. Where the fancy is. 
Look at how beefy that handle is. Are you kidding me? Like, this is beefy. Like, oh, that's huge. Okay. And we have this nice Ohana gold piece over here. And like really heavy duty race car seat belt handles on there. I'm forgetting English. We have another handle over here. Huge zippers, like that's bigger than my rock. Crazy. You guys, we were just talking about bigger bags and I, at first I thought it didn't have a bag but I wasn't mad about it because this is yellow. But this bag runs across the whole thing. The whole thing. This, you see that? Thank you. We were just talking about that like the last live. Look at this, man. Oh, it's got little feet at the bottom too. So you can rest it on this and it won't be your bag. Okay, and look at this. You can put your ukulele on here and it has a little pillow for the neck. Are you kidding me? Even I don't have something like this. Oh, Hannah, you hooked it up. And you know what? I'm excited because like the people at Ohana were like really friendly. Like they were our kind of people. But then they send all this stuff and I'm like, wow, this is crazy. So again, I'm gonna check with them, ask them, um, what they would like to see in future videos, like something that I'm gonna have to hang on to. But anything that they say, like you can give away, I will give away because like, this is cool, right? And I want you guys to share in this. Okay, so I'm gonna do dedicated videos for all this stuff. And some people have said like, I like the unboxings, but I prefer review. So I thought we can do unboxings live just for fun. And then the review video can be like the perfectly polished, edited, where I act like just normal, you know, not like this. So let's check stuff out. What do you guys think? And now you can get, you can ask me questions live. Did you do a costume change in 20 minutes? It took me to get home. Yeah, I did. No, I'm, I was wearing a black shirt, but I thought it would be easier to see my face if I wore light, which it did work. Okay. All right. So, and you guys can ask questions, so ask questions. Okay, look at this headstock, slotted headstock. We like those. And the pins are pointing backward and they look like vintage, vintage gold, which is kind of pretty too. You see that action? That's really tight. Nice. And then, we have, what is this, a spruce top? I'll have to do my research. So this is the CK70M. So this is a concert ukulele. And it's looking good so far. It is gorgeous. I think this is more for the people who want just like your basic uke. Like this is the person who wants, of course, a slotted headstock, a really good sounding uke. You want something that is gonna look like just a legit instrument like this. And then you have a little abalone, just like a little bit of icing, like just a sprinkling of bedazzle. So it's not over the top. It's just like cute and glam. Normal, nice, glam. Oh, cute, right? Thank you. So this is concert. It's not gonna be interesting. But we have that, so stay tuned for the review for that. Boom. Next. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five to unbox. Would a travel you could fit in that front pocket? I think it would. Smart. I think the little tiny travel one would fit in the front pocket. When I saw it, I wanted to say, I really want that one. But I had to compose myself. Okay. Okay. So 
So I'm going to show it to you like front and then I'm going to show you why I'm so excited about this, okay? Okay. Bump, bump, bump. Okay, okay. So let me show you what I like about it. This is a skinny model. Skinny, 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 skinny. That's so thin. So we're thin. Look at this. What is that? Two Bernie fingers wide? I have skeletal fingers. This is a tiny, tiny little uke. Ah! What is this? I think this is contour. Yeah, this is contour size. So again, you've got like an almost normal looking uke, and then when you hold it, it's super thin. Look at that. It's like, let me show you that one. It's like nothing. Nothing at all, right? You have like your normal one. This one looks fat. And it's not, it's just a standard uke, but then you got like, so skinny. Can it even produce a sound? Of course it can produce a sound, homie. And it's out of tune. Awesome. I don't remember where I put my tuners. The cats, since you're asking, are tired because they've been playing all day, but can you make them out? They're right there. They're sleeping together. Okay, all right, it is so cool. This is the one that I was like, oh, I really like that one, I really like that one. Um, I'll check if they give me the catalog with the prices and I can tell you guys the rough pricing on it, but I'm not sure if it's in here. So I will obviously make review videos about all of these and that, that's where I will give links and information. That one does not have a plug, I don't think so. So the only problem with plug-in ukes is that sometimes over time they get a little rattle because the, the, the box inside the mechanism that makes them acoustic electric will loosen up after all the strumming and then they'll rattle. So that's why I haven't been like super promoting acoustic electric ukes because I'm afraid, I'm always like afraid like, they're gonna buy a product and then they're gonna come back and think like, oh, this didn't work. And so that's a, one of the reasons why I stay away from them. But it doesn't mean there aren't good ones out there. Like, oh, I think there's a gig bag in here. Okay. There are good ones out there. It's just one of those things that I'm afraid of. Oh, we have a little, a few extras. Okay, let's see. Free Skype ukulele lesson. No way! Oh, I guess when you buy this model, you get a free Skype lesson with Jeffrey Thomas. Hmm. I'm not sure who he is, but if they chose him, he must be good. So we've got a strap. We got a tuner like the one we showed a little earlier that I've obviously misplaced because I'm clumsy. Um, so here. And then we have a ukulele diagram like an educational diagram and it shows you where the notes fit on the music stack oh hold on let's open oh how cute you have a few songs to play as a beginner so this is probably a beginner model which i asked for a beginner model by the way if you're just joining please hit the thumbs up button it helps the video do better because it tells the YouTube robots that this channel gets engagement. And this is why we're going to hit 100K probably this month because um, all of the engagements that, and interactions and all the comments and all the likes and all the shares that you guys do, like all of that matters. And um, Jose was doing research about how long it takes a channel to grow to the point where we are now. And I guess on average it takes five years and we've done it in two years and two months. So we cut that time in half and it really is because you're spending time here, you're hitting the likes, you're sharing, you're engaging, like comments, leaving a comment saying, hey, what's up? Like all of those little things ma matter. How can you still have furniture in your home with all those ukuleles? I give a bunch of them away and I'm so happy when the person gets them. Like that's 
I, I lose sleep when the ukuleles are traveling because I'm like, I'm hoping they'll be there and they'll be safe and everything. And once people say, like, I got my ukulele, like, oh, I can breathe, you know? Okay, this one, whoa, this one is beautiful. I like dark wood, so this is my dark wood liking. So I think something about Ohana is that they have kind of like a, a different ratio on their curves. It just stands out to me. And this is the CK10, handcrafted Ohana. So look at that. This is very beautiful. And again, this is one for the people who just want a uke that sounds good and you don't want all the bells and whistles and colors. Like you want just a good sounding ukulele. And still you get a little rosette there, just a little touch, you know? How pretty. That even looks good with this outfit. <laughs> I just heard myself. Okay, and the standard gig bag that comes with it here. So we have, oh, it's lined on the inside. It's not padded though. I do want to say this one's not padded. So I guess you can upgrade to a better gig bag if you're going to be traveling. If you're just going to be at home, it doesn't matter um, that much unless you have like a dangerous home. But other than that, you're good with a standard gig bag. Okay. Let's continue, shall we? And then we'll do a quick recap of everything. This one, by the way, was the GB24. GB24. And each one of these is going to get their own video. So um, you can see it a more in-depth and close-ups and with the high-quality camera and the zoom in and out and all that stuff. And then I'll unbox the, hopefully, Cynthia one last. I can't wait. You guys! Okay, this one, I'm thinking I have to give away because I'm going to paint it and then give it away. This is the DIY kit where you get to do whatever you want on this and put it together. Ah! So fun! Okay. Look at that. Ah! Okay. So, how cool is this? Oh, and you get all the pieces. You don't have to buy anything yourself. All the pieces are in here. So, I'm gonna paint this, design it, and then I'll give it away. Ah, how fun! Ooh, put my lipstick on it. Oh well. Well, it just started. I asked for the pineapple on this one because I wanted more surface area to play with. And, um, and that way it's just a lot of surface area to paint on. And then it, this comes with the strings. Oh, I guess you can even put a little bit of decoration on your saddle. All the tuners, it comes with all, everything. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still recovering from being sick forever. Um, you get, a little kind of IKEA style manual where it doesn't have words just the drawings so you can see what to do so this one will be a fun project I was thinking that this would be a fun like summer project so I'll do it maybe May and then it'll be like you can buy it and one of the a summer activity you can do um, or if you have Kids or siblings or anything like that like that can be something you can work on for the summer like a little summer fun so yeah that one I want to like set up a tripod on top and like a really nice table and like paint and stuff and like I'll get a manicure that week so that like my hands look all, all nice and um, and it'll be like a, a, a zoom in on that the audio is low. Okay, I'll try to speak up. This has got a little weight to it. And this is the last one before we go to the other one. Ooh, this one's tiny. 
This might be another beginner model because it has the kit with tuner, gig bag, instructions, and the Skype lesson. Absolute beginner model. How cute! I don't think I've ever had anything in this color. Oh, it has a strap on. Look at that! Wow, that is so cute. This has a nice weight to it. And look at that. Look at those proportions. Like it's like a slender body. Usually with other ukes, I'll see like this is slender, and then this is more curvy, like a bigger badonkadon. But on this one, it's almost, almost like the same size. And there's something so vintage looking about that, to me at least, to my eyes. I don't know, what do you think? Do you like a more badonka dunk or do you like this? Or do you like that? There's differences. And you know what? Even though theirs is an absolute beginner model, like there's little things about it that show quality. Like, look at that fingerboard. Can you see the wood on that? And then when it comes all the way to the bottom, look you even get that little design to it and something that i've noticed with like cheaper yucks is that it'll be cut off and then they won't even like stain the bottom it'll be like we just cut it and then put it on like it wasn't stained or colored you know but i think we're moving up you guys now that we're a bigger channel we can afford better yucks so this one is one that if I love, I'm going to put on the 30 day uke challenge. On that principle, I'm gonna put like beginner ukes I recommend. For the people that don't know where to start, don't have a uke yet, like what should I buy? Cause I get that question every day. Like what uke should I buy? Um, I think this is one of those that I'm gonna put on there. Like, hey, this one, buy this one. And I'll put a few others that I like as well. So yeah it'll be nice I have their all solid acacia tenor see and you know what like people who have a Honda love the brand it's crazy so I've decided on my channel we're just gonna show off quality 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 okay <sighs> Tell me if you're ready. Tell me if you're ready. Actually, tell me. Oh, a bunch of YouTubers are doing the make an assumption about me thing. Have you done that with anybody? Like, have you participated in it? Do you like those? I thought about doing it, but I don't. It feels like a little bit like make an assumption about me. I don't know. But if you guys are like. If it's playful and fun, then I'm down to do it. But if it's a little bit like meh, let me know. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here we go. I feel like I need a flower in my hair for this. <clears throat> we all have, this is Cynthia Lynn's card. We all have an inner artist deep down waiting to be released. The ukulele is a simple and magical instrument that can be the start of your creative journey. Cynthia Lynn, Queen Ukulele. Ah, how cute. The signature uke. Okay, um, available through all authorized Ahana dealers, customized by Cynthia for the discerning beginner ukulele player. What's up, players? Okay. Oh, we get a cute little um, photo of her, too. You guys, in person, she's tiny. Like, like one of my legs, she's so slender. But she has this big old personality. I think, like, that sometimes happens, right? Like, tiny people have the biggest personality. Okay. Um, Cintillin, Ukulele Days. Oh, I think that's, like, a sticker. That is so pretty. Why didn't I think of that? That's so smart. 
You get an Ohana sticker, which I think comes with a bunch of these. A cleaning cloth, very nice. And Ohana ukulele pen. Nice, okay. That all came in this bag. I'm building the suspense. It's, uh -uh, uh -uh. okay. Oh, you guys. Thank you for being here, by the way. Thank you for hanging out with me. Okay. So I think it's just their standard gig bag, right? And then we have a double zipper handle. Hey, these zippers are nice. For being a standard gig bag, those zippers are nice. It's, oh, it is padded. It is padded. Good. Okay, nice. It is padded all the way around. Not super thick padding. Let me see. That's the padding. Oh, that is pretty decent, huh? Yeah. Very nice, Cynthia. Very nice, Mahana. You know what's nice too? That embroidered part in the front, I think, is really nice. And then you get two handles on the back, backpack style. And you have a little bit of a lining on your handle on the side. Is that, is that what it's called? Lining? I'm not sure. Okay. Bum, ba, da, da, bum, bum, bum. Take it out of the bag. Drum a roll, a please. Ready? How cute is that? It's so pretty. Woo! Hi, my hunger. <laughs> ah! This is like the hibiscus she wears on her hair. That is so cute. So cute. <clears throat> so we have a mat that's in finish and we have a binding on the back and then on the binding on the front has a little bit of a stripe to it. And then we have kind of like a resemblance of it as a rosette. And it's all kind of almost one tone. On the phone this looks really yellow but in person this looks almost the same color as this. I think they're just different woods. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. That is different. Huh. And then I know she used different strings. Look at that. They're brown. So it kind of doesn't take attention away from the binding because they're brown. And then she, she had said something to the effect of like sometimes the beginner models don't have a touch of pretty to them. Like they'll be very basic. And so she wanted to add the kind of inlay that you would see on a higher end ukulele on a beginner model. And I think that's abalone on those um, leaves. So that's really cute. Look at that. And then of course you have her signature up top. And that headstock has kind of a vintage look to it. So. Um, no, this one doesn't have buttons on it. That is so cute. And yeah, there are no dots in the front. You get them on the side. This is a concert. Concert, I believe. Yeah, concert. CK14 and CL for Cindy Lynn. So CK14, CL for Cindy Lynn. This one, I think I am keeping, but I'll check with Cynthia and see if if she'd like to organize a giveaway or if this is like a Bernie please keep. So I have some merch already. Someone's asking about merch. I have some merch. If you look right under my videos, you can see. But I'm still playing with designs. Look at that. That is cute because you're playing and you have just that. That was so observant of you to say it doesn't have the, the, the dots on the front I think that's what makes the flower pop 
but you still get them on the side, which is nice. There you go. How cute. Oh, I'm into it. Fret markers, thank you. I am into it. Look at that. Oh, here. See, you can see that this is almost the same color on the neck and the body. How nice. Okay, so all of these Yuki's will get different video reviews, of course. But just to kind of go over what we saw, we saw the Cynthia Lynn. We saw the Ohana starter pack. And it came with the gig bag and the teal blue yuku. Super cute, adorable, precious. Love it. I love it because this would get anybody from any age to go like, oh, cute. I want to play it. So I'll be playing with that. And then I'll also be doing a vlog style video where I play with each one of these yukes and I'll tell you how long it took for it to hold tune. Because I think that's one of those questions that people always ask, like, how long does it take before it holds tune? How often should I tune? And so I thought I would just make a vlog of, like, come with me for a day or two. And, oh, Scott is saying hi. Remember we went to eat with Scott in Washington? He's here. What's Scott? We went to eat with them in Washington. Oh! <laughs> and then we also got this one which I'll be painting and giving away to someone will have a custom Bernadette youth. Um, and then we'll, we'll do that one maybe for like a little summer project. So maybe end of April, May. Um, and then we also saw, I believe, what was this one? The CK10 pack. This one came with the standard gig bag and yeah, this one was really pretty. Look at that. So pretty. And I will be playing, I mean, I'll be um, showing the sound demonstration to all of you on the review videos so that we can really see. <clears throat> this one I think was the one that I was, I don't know. This one was the one of the first ones we saw, if not the first one. So this one's got like that white top darker brown sides with the abalone rosette super pretty slotted headstock and then the one that i like lost my mind over because it's so skinner um oh look at that it's like the tortilla you huh? it's just like boom boom whoo this is super cute and then we saw a bunch of merch. I was not aware that Ohana had so much merch. So we saw this um, like race car driver, heavy duty case with a little seat. And this is like, hi Panka. This is heavy duty. I think this is like, look at this. Very nice. Did I show you guys the inside? I got so excited. I don't even know if I showed the inside. I think I did, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause it has the neck pillow and the Velcro so that it doesn't just fall out. Uh, thanks first time here. Hi Colin, welcome. Okay. I'm usually not this crazy on my videos. It's just the lives. It's the lives cause I can't edit out the crazy. And then we saw Happy hour gig bag. I know a bunch of you guys will like that. And then, this a really pretty kind of patterned, unique, a different gig bag. We have the double straps on the back and they're adjustable. And they have more of the pattern. We didn't open this one, huh? I was too excited. I kind of just jumped into it. So, just normal <clears throat> pattern. Oh, they're all saying hi, Jose, in the back. <laughs> there he is. What are you making? Um, crossing out the ribs, rice, and veggies. Ah, okay. Jose is really into ribs right now, and so he baked himself some ribs, so he's heating them up. 
And then we have the Ohana backpack. I wish I could travel on this size of a backpack. It would be so nice to not have to carry more stuff, but uh, I'm one of those people who just carries a bunch of stuff. And then we have the Ohana Capo, which I'm very excited for because I like heavy, heavy capos. Not extremely heavy, but just like a little weight to them. And then we have the little finger shaker and the metro tuner, which I want to do a video on how to use a metronome to improve your practice. <clears throat> and of course, can't forget the apron. Jose, put this on since you're cooking. <laughs> we got apron. Ohana. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, well, if Ohana watches this, I hope they're not scared out of uh, working with me in the future. Um, yeah, but I'm really excited to make videos for all this stuff and to share them with you. And I'll be asking them which ones I can give away and which ones they want to see over and over on the channel. So if I don't give something away right away, it's not that like, oh, I'm hanging on to it. Like, no, it's just that they've asked me to hang on to it or show it in future videos or make a specific tutorial, which if it's a good brand and they have good ukes, I'm all for giving them airtime on the channel. And it is a good brand and they have good ukes. And so far, everyone that I've seen that bought an Ohana, um, it's mostly been Cynthia Lynn's audience. They've been really happy and excited with it. But people who are here who have an Ohana have been really excited about it too. So all those little things really matter to me. Like I always want to recommend something that you're going to love and something that you're, you're going to want to stay with forever. So I'll be making the videos. And if you have any questions or anything like that, comment them on this video or on any future video. But comment your questions because that will help me make the videos better because as long as I know what you want to see in those videos I'll be able to put that out there and I think that's one of the reasons why this channel has grown is that you guys have been so vocal about recommendations and about feedback and like oh this tutorial went too fast or this tutorial was just the right speed or I want to see a tutorial for this song like it was you guys who asked for Havana over and over and over again and I kept thinking like Havana like that song is three chords what am I gonna teach and then I I made the tutorial anyway because you asked for it and I tried to be creative with it and then boom it went like almost straight to the top it's like one of the top five tutorial videos of all time so I'm glad that I listened to you hi Mike I'm glad that I listened to you and made that tutorial because like you guys I mean it just blew up so um, let me know what you want to know about all these ukes and Hi, Larry. Thank you. And yeah, Flora is in the house. Demi. Hey, Ruben. You look like a director today. Yeah. And I even have the shoes. <laughs> it's like chill day at Bernie's. Oh, I wasn't supposed to show you that. Ooh, we're going to make this PD-13, you guys. Ohana just reminds me of Lilo and Stitch. I know that is so cute. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to give away the hat, though. I kind of have a thing for hats. Uh, Jose? I think he's changing. Weekend at, weekday at Bernie's. Oh, that's what I should call the live. Weekday at Bernie's. That's so funny. Um, do you recommend an Enya tenor? I do. I love my Enya ukes. They're good. No complaints. The gig bags are also all really nice. All of them. So yeah, um, this box actually is Enya stuff. So um, I'm going to ask Enya what they want me to do with that first. And then I'll unbox. So yeah. Is it cold over there? It snowed last night. Um, right now it's okay, I think. But I haven't been outside. But it's it snowed last night. Mm. Tonight I'll be editing all of... All of me? Is it all of me? All of you? Cause all of me loves all of you. That one? That one's going to be on the challenge. So I'll be working on it tonight. And then as soon as it's done, I'll put it out there. But I think 
the principal will be out there probably in a few hours. I think the principal is I can put up on the on the link. It's just the editing takes me a little bit longer. Which is is better the UC70 or the X1? The X1 is heavier, so I I mentioned earlier things that are heavier to me feel more sturdy or high quality. Um and the X1 has a bit of a mellow warm tone to it. The EUT70 is really lightweight and it has a slightly brighter tone to it. Out of the two, I like the 70 better, that lighter one, but I gave it away to um, to one of my students. So I have the X1. Uh, you don't like to be called Bernie. Um, I, okay, the thing with Bernie is that growing up, the only people who called me Bernie were my family members, nobody at school. Everybody at school called me um, Bernadette. So whenever somebody that wasn't family called me Bernie, it felt awkward. Like it felt like that's like a secret name. Like I know it's stupid, but like when I was little, it felt that way. Even in middle school and high school, like the people who call me Bernie, I feel like they had to be in my life a long time before they call me Bernie. But something that happened at NAM is that people started calling me Plazi, which is my Instagram name. I'm like Plazi this, Plazi that, and I feel comfortable with that. Like, So if you wanna call me a friendly name, I feel more comfortable with Plazi. Once the channel is older and you've been a subscriber for a while, then I'll be fine with Bernie. But at first I'm like, why are you calling me Bernie? That's a family name. Plazi because my last name from my family name is Plazola. So Plazola, Plazi. And even my mom's Instagram is uh, M Plazi. And my cousins and stuff have like their name Layla Plazi. So we all use Plazi on our socials, which is kind of cute. <clears throat> yeah, you can call me Miss B. That's fine. That's fine. I, like there's some subscribers here that if they call me Bernie, I would be, it would feel normal because they've been here a while, or they've been here a lot, or they're always messaging me, so I feel like I know them. But for people that I don't know, when they say Bernie, I'm like, who told you, you know? We have suggestions on how to help with hand cramps. My hand has been cramping a lot more recently as I play. I was reading about hand cramping and <clears throat> Somebody suggested using warm water or a warm towel before you play to help the body like actually physically warm up. And it might also be the way uh, you're holding it. So rewatch my how to hold the ukulele video. And then the last thing I can recommend if you're getting hand cramps is um, get a strap. And if your ukulele doesn't have a strap button, they do sell strap buttons and they're really affordable. So you can install one. Um, I really love how my hands feel when I have a strap. Like, it's a big difference. So I recommend that. Paraffin wax tips for your hands? Really? I didn't know that. You should do a video on the importance of setup. I am working on something like that, actually. So stay tuned. <clears throat> it's like a home spa. I didn't know about it. <clears throat> Bernie for me. Yeah. I know, but I feel fine when you call me Bernie. Because I feel like I know you, you know? Like, I feel like I know you. I've, I've seen your family and you know me. I don't know. We've talked a lot. <clears throat> How would you make the action bigger on a uke? I have no idea. I have no idea. I imagine getting a wider nut, a new nut. <clears throat> your left thumb. Oh, maybe your left thumb is creeping up too high. So some people can play with the thumb on top and it's fine. But as a rule of thumb, I teach to drop the thumb behind. Because I noticed that a lot of the beginner, because I teach online. Like I can't be there to like fix your hands, which I wish I could. If I could be there and fix your hands and see and, and make adjustments, I would, but I can't. So the next best thing is for me to tell you to drop the thumb to the center and look at what that does to the wrist. Right now, my whole hand is carrying. Look at that tension. That's tension, that's not good. And as soon as I move the thumb to the back, boom, nice. And the wrist is no longer bent. 
<clears throat> and then to carry the uke, it should be your index finger kind of helping you there. It should not be your wrist carrying it. Since you're in uke. <laughs> so it should be drop the wrist, drop the thumb, curve the hand. If you have a bigger uke, rest it on your leg. That way you can have the hand over here. And it's almost, almost, almost no tension here. How, how come so many professional players don't put the thumb in the back? Um, I think that's just how they were trained and I understand it, but um, my classical guitar teacher taught me like this way. And I just love how like, look at how much more reach I get when I put the thumb on the back. So this is a thumb on top. This is not what I like. Um, and I feel like that's barely enough. But as soon as I drop the thumb, I just feel like I could reach around to like the back of the uke and play it. Like the thumb on the back for me is just like whoosh. I can reach anything. And I can reach so much of the, the fretboard with the thumb back there. Look at that. Look at that reach. Isn't that crazy? So that's why I teach back here. I can't keep the thumb on the back for a whole song. Huh. If you're not making huge movements, the thumb should kind of stay there. So um, I wish I could hang out with you and see. Hi, Jessica. Let me see. Um, I have a tuner set up already. Oh my gosh, you guys, the kitties are so cute. Let me show you the kitties. <clears throat> Hold on. So cute. Look at them. Look at them. This is Tika. And this is Arigato. So, <clears throat> Arigato has, I think, more green in his eyes. And his ears are further apart. Like, that's like four fingers right there. But Kit Kat's forehead, I feel like it's narrower and her ears are pointed up. Mama! <laughs> and they're always cuddling. So cute. <laughs> My babies. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I like this thumb discussion. I think it's important to talk about. Because everybody plays a little differently, right? And it's good to know what other people are using. Um, your thumb was numb for the next few days. Where do you put your thumb, Flora? Because, like, you play really well. Do you put it on the back, or does it kind of hang out in the front? Why, why do I want to say you, you hang out in the front a little bit? <clears throat> I can't remember exactly. Um, uh, on that slim ukulele, you want to see the slim first? Okay, I can do that. Thank you for the request both ways. Yeah, I think I've seen you... Oh, change it. Which way goes first? Oh, hold on. I think I got it. Thank you guys for being here, by the way. This is fun. I like our little lives. Okay, sweet. Let me tune the Cynthia Lynn. Cynthia Queen. That's a nice looking tuner.
Yes, you're asking for the strumming pattern. It's on the one of the new tutorials called Ho Hei. <clears throat> it's down, up, up, down. This ukulele has a really unique voice and I'm gonna blame that both on the fact that <clears throat> I don't have anything like this and these uh, brown strings, I need to look up what they are because I've never played with anything that sounds like this. It has a warm tone. It's not like a chimey, in your face, like high jingle. To me, it's kind of like a, a rounded, balanced, I still find it difficult for me muting with my left hand. Practice, um, start with a minor franca. So on the, have your, this one, and then use this, these two to mute. And just switch, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, worth brown. I thought they were worth. So start there, and then move to F. And once you can do that, move to C. Leave the middle finger here, but you're gonna hold C. And work on that one. That one's slightly more challenging because you have to release when you're muting. And then do only the G with a thumb up here and then mute. Try just muting. Just a mute. Mute, then squeeze. Mute, squeeze. And if you have to do it this slow, mute, squeeze. And then mute, and then squeeze. That's okay. Do it that slow. So think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So do it super slow, super slow. Like, super slow. is just a mute <coughs> so if you're watching TV or anything like that just sit there and just practice muting it practice muting it I find
find it impossible with to play with my thumb at the top usually we always want the thumb at the bottom because it just opens up the hand like the house for the mouse right but for this mute that's where we kind of do need it i just can't see my pinky reaching over there unless you did g this way because you could do g this way right like this and so if you wanted to mute this way that's easier oh why didn't i show that oh this is easier okay so try playing g this way and then mute with the index oh, i wish i would have shown this on the video hmm. okay so franca i don't know if you're still here but try that Try it this way, and then boom. This is easier. Yeah, it's still on because I want to make sure it's tuned. Okay, I've tuned like four times, I think. So try that one. Mama Plazi is here. Oh, hi, Mom. The A minor? Really? I would have thought. I struggle switching from C to G. Part of me panics that I'm not gonna make it. So C to G is my my struggle one. You could mention it in another video. I will. I just wish I would have mentioned it in that one because it might make a lot of people like happy. Because then I would have done C this way. naked fingerboard no dots and we have an inlay so it's kind of like a beautiful touch and then if you need the dots don't worry they're on the side and we have brown worth strings and sing and the signature up on top so cool will you do some play alongs in this slide we can <coughs> we can end with one um let me grab my uh let's do isn't she lovely get ready for isn't she lovely I got the idea from one of my ukulele books and then I just simplified it. <coughs> wow, I'm still sick, man. It's been like two weeks. Okay. All right, get ready. <clears throat> we have D minor or D minor seven. D minor or D minor 7? G, C, and F. <clears throat> After that we have B flat, A7, 
D minor, G, and end on C, then F. Okay? So we have a. Let me tune. give you isn't she isn't she and then we'll start okay here we go one two one two isn't she mine live if you're still here please give the video a thumbs up and um i stay tuned for all the videos that we will be having with ohana ukuleles so much fun so much fun to have all these beautiful wonderful ukes thank you to the lovely staff at ohana for sending these to us and for um they had agreed to some giveaways so these are going to go to some of you all which is really fun so yeah, lots of fun things coming to the channel. It's gonna be a very exciting second half of the month. This first half I haven't been making any, as many videos because I was just so sick. And that happens unfortunately, but um, you know, we're gonna move forward and make more videos. Thank you all, thank you for hitting the thumbs up. I see we went over 100, thank you. And I will see you in the All of Me video. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful